Hey guys, what's up? This is the boy who had seven. So today we are on the quest for our third Infinity Gem. Yes, they've now been called the Infinity Gems by Thanos. The name has changed from Soul Gem to Infinity Gem. And Thanos is on his way to find the Gardener. So let me give you a little back history on the Gardener. He is an elder of the universe. One of the ones that we talked about in the last couple videos where he tried to take over the universe, kill Galactus and destroy the universe and start a new one. And so he failed. He was also cursed by death to become immortal. We know that he had, is billions of years old. He supposedly was created when the Big Bang happened and he now um, goes throughout the universe beautifying barren planets. And that's pretty much what we've seen from him. He would use his gem to go to planets that were barren and ugly and turn them into lush, beautiful gardens. The comic books say he's been doing this for eons and he's created gardens on billions and billions of planets. And so we find him here back on a planet in his garden and Thanos shows up. And this is a little bit different. Thanos actually, most other times, wants to hurt the people that he's come across. But here Thanos doesn't have any malicious intent toward the gardener. He actually doesn't want to hurt him. And it's, it's pretty interesting to see this. And he tells the gardener, hey, how's it going? Uh, your gardens are beautiful. And the gardener's like, yeah, come on, come walk with me. Take, take your round and see everything that I've done. And they're talking as if they're old friends. And Thanos asks him, how come you're not with the elders anymore? And he's, he says, you know, all they craved for was power. And all I've ever really wanted to do is to beautify the universe and to tend to my garden. And so Thanos says, well, do you know why I'm here? And the gardener says, yes, I know why you're here. And Thanos says, is there any way you'll just give me the gem? And the gardener says, no, because your desire and my desire are at odds. I want to beautify the universe forever. And Thanos is like, well, I love death so much that nothing can get in my way from being with death. And so the gardener's like, well, nothing can get in my way from gardening. And so they sit down across from each other and they have this battle of wills. And so you see here, Thanos is getting wrapped by these vines and these thorns. And all of a sudden, parents, please beware. This next little uh, panel is a bit graphic, but the next thing that we see is this. And so Thanos teaches us a few things here that I want to read to you guys to make sure that we get to see what Thanos is saying. So the first thing that he says here is this. Poor gardener, you have no idea what rests on your brow. The infinity gems come from before all recorded time. I believe they might even be the cornerstones of all reality. With them, all facets of actuality can be controlled. Warlock's gem is the key to the souls of all sentient beings, the soul gem. Champion's jewel backs all the other gems with infinite power. It is the foundation of the galactic dynasty I envision. And your gem will give me the gift of time. And so this is the time gem, guys. The gardener had the time gem and Thanos continues to talk to him and tell him, look, what you've been able to do all these years is speedily grow your seed. You've been able to augment time and augment the germination of that seed to rapidly grow your flowers and your plants and your trees and your bushes and your grass. And then at the pinnacle of their lifespan, when they're the most beautiful, you have frozen them in time. And that's what you've been doing all these years with your gem. And so Thanos tells him, thank you for this gem. And guys, look at this. Thanos is now in possession of all the gems. And he says, your fate will lay heavily on my heart, though by all rights, it shouldn't. I did not force you to fight me. I gave you a chance to surrender the gem, but you forced me into doing what I did. I had to be faithful to my nature, for after all, I am Thanos. And that is how Thanos Quest Book One ends. Thanos has three gems, the soul gem. He has the infinity gem of power, and he has the infinity gem of time. Guys, he is getting scarier and scarier as time goes on. I don't know if there's anything that can stop him. And so please let me know what you think down in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I love this so much and I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for your time. 
I'll talk to you later.